welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, and today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you that I wanted to share. Um, but first, I wanted to say thank you to Kathy for the beautiful card. I think it was handmade, I, I think. It is beautiful, and thank you so much. I really appreciate it, and I am feeling so much better. So I loved it. I went and checked my P.O. box today. And this was in it. And this makes my day. So thank you so much. I just got back from PT. We're learning, or I'm learning. Oh, there's Alex. My muscles are getting stronger. Uh, last night I was working on a macrame project for my bedroom, which I'll show you. I can't work on it tonight because it really hurt my muscles. So tomorrow night I will show you while I'm working on a little bit of it. Um, and it's going to go on the wall in my bedroom. So, hey, Alex. No, he's eating. They've just been fed. Um, so I have a Dollar Tree haul. Nothing huge, but I wanted to share um, some of my finds and some ideas I have. So first off, it's a back scratcher and a shoehorn. I don't know that I'll need the shoehorn portion, but look at that back scratcher just looked fun and I love the color it's like a minty tealy green and I like it um, it's not sharp and I think it'll do a nice job scratching my back especially in the summer when I get like too much Sun so I grabbed one of those that's for me um, for my car I picked up I think I mentioned the place I got my car from I get free um, car washes it doesn't do a great job but my car is white so it does a good enough but then when I come home, I got to touch it up. So I got some wheel and tire cleaner and some tire shine. Um, this you spray on the hub, or not the hubcaps, on the rims. And then I got the brush to clean it. So when I wash my car myself, and then the tire shine just makes everything pretty. So I grabbed those. And these were a dollar a piece. And again, I'm not going to do a lot of car washing. So I don't need the big bottles. And if I feel that I need a bigger bottle, I can always go get it if I like the product. I am out of drink mixes at work, so I grabbed grape and fruit punch. So I got those to take to work tomorrow. I picked up, oh, for football season. And this is um, Cake Mate brand. So this is a name brand. Look at these cupcake liners. They're footballs. And they are 50 in here. So I could do a couple times take cupcakes. Or... What happens sometimes, what I'll do is bake the cupcakes in like a white liner and then slip these on for decoration purposes because if sometimes you lose the, the ink in the liner. But I thought that was super fun. So I grabbed a pack of those. They had other sports too. Why is this ball in my... What do I have, Alex? This is Alex's ball. He loves this ball. Go get it. It was in my Dollar Tree bag. Hi, Dubby. You coming to say hi? Do you want to say hi? I'm here, baby. Ugh. This is Dubby Stein. <laughs> Here's Wellington. You don't want to say hi? He does not want to say hi. He will, though. Go get it. We're playing fetch. Anywho, sorry. I digress. Oh, and I grabbed some orange to also take to work. Um, I tend to drink more water when I have those. And I need to drink lots of water. Um, for my beauty advent calendar for my niece, which I'm going to bring you through when it gets closer to Christmas, probably like October, November, I will bring you through with me how I'm putting together this advent calendar. But if you want to do the same thing for somebody in your life, you're going to want to pick up 24 or 25 something something. I'm going to do beauty products this year, so I grabbed her another hair mask. She happens to love hair masks. And this one is Almond and Shea Butter 100% Natural Deep Conditioning Mask. So I'm collecting beauty products for her. And every day she can open one and she'll have a new beauty product. Um, makeup, nail files, nail polish, hair masks, face masks, all different stuff. So if you want to be a part of this and just later in the year, and you want to make an advent calendar for somebody in your life, start collecting things now. I will tell you, last year for Sarah, I did, and I made one for myself, 
I ordered on Amazon a box of 48 twining tea bags. So it was not quite 48 different flavors. There was some repeats, which was fine. So what I did is I sorted the tea out by flavors I thought she would like, and then I just kept the ones that she wouldn't like for me. I wrapped each tea bag in some um, cardstock and then mixed them all up and slapped a number on them and hung them from a cord with um, clothespins for her. And then every day she got to have a new tea. And then for Christmas, I bought her an electric tea kettle. So that's what I did last year. The year before I took, and I will do this one for somebody and I will show you how I make it, but I took the condiment cups from the Dollar Tree and glued them onto cardboard and filled them with candy. So we will definitely, that is a DIY. That could be a July DIY, Christmas in July. Okay, Christmas in July, we are making an advent calendar. So go collect enough of the condiment cups to get 24. Do it. Because you don't have to just put candy in them. I'll show you, but we'll make one. Okay, done. So anyway, that was for that. This was also for Sarah for her eye watch. It's just a rubber thing. I thought it had a cover protector, but it doesn't. But it was a dollar, so I'll get, that's not for Christmas. I'm just going to give it to her the next time I see her. Um, and if you're wondering, the dog in my last video is her dog, my niece. I was dog sitting, which I do. For my trip to Florida coming up for the kids, I grabbed them some of these um, penny stick honey wheat pretzels. I thought those would be fun in the car or at the hotel or condo wherever we're staying and while we're playing games and stuff. So I got some penny sticks for them. I won't eat that, but they will. And I love them. And then I picked up a couple of these. Again, this is part of her advent calendar. And what this is, is a fashionably fit two-in-one hair and wristband. You can hide uh, money, keys, chapsticks. We're going to open one because one is for me, one I'm giving to my cousins, and one is part of Sarah's um, advent calendar. Maybe. I'm just collecting stuff. I don't know what's going to go in it at the end of the day when I see how much stuff I have. Okay, so it comes with two of these, which is can be a hair tie so tie your hair up in them a fashion bracelet right so it's a bracelet i'm wearing it but i gotta find the zipper oh no zipper velcro it has a little velcro pocket that's hard to get in i thought maybe it was um sorry i'm trying to get in this little pocket here I thought maybe it was a zipper, but it's not a zipper. Oh, here we go. It's a Velcro opening. And money can slide in here. And this thing stretches pretty good, too. Money can fit in there. Your chapstick. Um, like, I have some chapstick for the beach. I could put it in there. You could just wear it because it's cute. And it's a two-pack. So I thought that was super cute. And it's made by Scunchy. And those are the two colors. And this is like bathing suit material. So if it were to get wet, I think it would dry. And this is more like, I think it's the same material, maybe cottony in the braided portion. And it stops at the end. So where you can stuff things is just in this middle, this part here. But that's perfect if you're a runner. Um, you can put a house key in here or your emergency information. Although I don't know that anybody would know to look there. I will show you what I ride my bike with. It's called a road ID. If you're a runner, you should probably have one as well. Um, I'll have to bring it out and show you one day. So that's, I opened up mine. I have two more, one for Sarah and one for my cousins. So we'll put that away. I told you this is a very small haul. There was not, there's not a lot whole, there's not a whole lot going on at my Dollar Tree right now. But I did stop on my way home today just to see, and I picked up a picture hanging kit, another one. I love these kits. Um, you see that this size here is going to hold, that's big. That will hold my, when I'm done with my macrame. So, and I love these little picture hangers, and they come with ha nails and some wire, too. I don't usually use that wire, but I use these hangers quite frequently. And for a dollar, that's a really good deal. So I grabbed that for me. And then for Christmas, 
I grabbed one of these. And they really have these around Father's Day. And it's cute, and there's nothing to it, really. It's just a box. But what I'm doing for Christmas for one of the mans that I buy for, I'm going to peel this off. I'm going to put with my Cricut, like, his name or something. And I'm filling this with super cool shaving stuff. Like, I bought a bamboo razor with my couponing. I got some Bulldog Man's face um, shaving gel that he has a goatee. So, I'm going to get some um, beard wax. And I got a man facial mask. He will like that kind of stuff. You got to know the guy you're giving it to. But the person I'm giving this to, I think, will really appreciate this. And it's going to be like a um, manscaping kit. You know, how fun. I think you'll really enjoy it. And with my couponing, I can get lots of neat stuff. And it seems to be pretty trendy right now. Lots of stores are carrying more man product, which is pretty cool because they have to have skin washing stuff too. So I may end up also getting like some face wash and some deodorants or something. Or like aftershaves. I don't know. It's June. But I needed to pick this up while they have it for a dollar to fill and put all of the razors and stuff in it. So that is everything I bought at the Dollar Tree this week. Now the whole lot. I will have a video coming up if you if there's some interest in it for my Christmas in July and what materials I've bought so far that I think you can find now that I'm going to utilize in July. Um, definitely those wooden houses. And I'll have a whole video, but off the top of my head, the wooden houses, uh, the picture frame with the buffalo check, or you can get buffalo check card um stock at like Joann's or Hobby Lobby and do the same thing but I just bought the frame with that already had it uh, we're gonna do the advent calendar so you're gonna need at least 24 or 25 condiment cups and then some sticker numbers and I will get the sticker numbers to yeah sticker numbers at the Dollar Tree as well and then I will show you how I create my advent calendar and maybe that will help you with your advent calendar this year. Now this will not be the one I'm utilizing for the beauty products because these type size items won't fit. Um, what I'm doing this year, you know, like something like that's not gonna fit on a calendar. So what I'm gonna do this year is, um, I'm getting an old piece of wood and I'm gonna wrap all of these individually and I'm gonna hang them on Burl, or, um, twine at different levels and then I'm going to put the numbers on the outside of these and she'll have and they'll be out of order and she'll have to find the day so maybe this is number one and she'll open it for number one and then at the top I'll find a wooden star or something to like decorate it make it kind of outdoorsy that's my idea right now but I have time because these are all going to be different sizes and different shapes it'll be kind of fun to see them hanging off of a piece of old wood you know like a wooden twig or something so start collecting if you have any thoughts or ideas of something you'd like to see me recreate for um, Christmas in July let me know if you see something at your Dollar Tree that I can potentially find here at my Dollar Tree and I will be happy to try to come up with something it's coming up um, thinking the week of July 25th around there just because that's when Christmas falls so I have time to keep finding things that I think will be fun but for right now we've got I've got at least three items um, for three days and I want to do a week's worth of Christmas in July so I need two more ideas um, nothing too out there nothing too crazy and a lot of it will be like basic that you can do any way you want all right I'm done chitter chattering now I need to get some dinner and get to bed I got a book to read all right guys I will talk to you later and you have a good one bye